Hi, today I want to show you how to do this blend effect with the Caden Live video editor. I'm using the USB Live version of Ubuntu Studio 1604 and it comes with the Caden Live e video editor of the version 15.12.3 and I will post the link of the full video of the effect in the video description and what is happening here I'm using a transition which is using a grayscale image to define the transition uh, I can show you that what I mean if I change it to linear Y and you can see it's a uh, horizontal uh, from white to black and you will see the transition you change like this and uh, the image is smaller than my screen so it's a little bit weird here but anyway I think you get the idea how this transition works and so now we have to define a great image for our two photos here the winter and the summer photos here Okay, now I've loaded my photo in the GIMP editor and uh, what we need to do is to define the uh, transition by using a grey scale first of all I need to add a layer and on this layer I'm going to use blend tool and uh, use a radio I want it to blend from outside to the inside in my case I'm blending from white to black so that's the from the leaves to the middle of the tree and what I also need is to I need a layer mask to have a the shape of the tree now I'm going to add the layer mask and copy the image and paste it on the layer mask so this is my layer mask it's a wrong way I need to uh, invert the color because I want the tree as a mask now I'm going to use a thread hole adjust a little bit I just want to the leaves here on this side now you can see that it's cut off here but on this side I have to cut it manually by using a brush or something like that but I'm going to stop the recording uh, I don't want to show you this here it take too long now I have done the part for the crown of the tree and you can s compare to the original photo here and this on the left hand side is not relevant because it will be covered by other branches so f just for demonstration I just make it easy I, I'm going to add another layer for the background and using the blend tool here change it to linear and let's do it simple uh, from white to black or maybe just reverse it from white to black here now we have to export the image in PGM format PGM just click on export raw now you have to put the PGM file into the directory where Kitten Live pick it up and uh, in my case is this path I'm not sure whether in other installation some it may change so because it's a root directory I have to use sudo to copy the file and 
copy the file using the path here. If I visit and you will see my file is here. After you have copied the PGM file, you have to restart Kden Live. And now uh, I'm going to put the photos here in the project clips and then put it into the timeline. So make it a little bit longer. Let's say uh, 20 seconds. Around 20 seconds. And then we need to put the transition. You can see here it's a blinking green uh, triangle. Just click on it, then you will see the transition here. And here is a drop down list uh, to select what kind of transition you want to have. Uh, we are going to use the wipe effect or wipe transition. And then select our image, which we have created in GIMP editor. Then test the transition. You can see it's blending in the wrong direction, not what we want to have. Just revert the transition. If you have done that from bla uh, black to white, then you don't need to reverse it. Somehow I got used to white to black. As you can see it here, is the edge is very sh very sharp. Uh, you can use the softness here, but we want I want to show you uh, the other way first before I soften the edge here. Now I'm back to GIMP. Uh, I'm going to add a new layer and uh, copy the image. Paste in the new layer. Let me move the layer top. This is our new layer. And then I'm going to take out the uh, color, desaturate. Now it's become black and white. This new layer, I need a layer mask as well. So, got the same layer mask, I, I'm going to copy the old layer mask and paste into my new layer. Now you can see that's the layer with the uh, black and white image. I'm going to change the contrast with the color curve. Make it brighter here. So I think that's good. Then I'm going to change this to multiply. Then you can see it's multiplying to this image. Th multiply the to the layer uh, below and export it to PGM. After copying the new PGM file, then uh, you will see we are back into Kden Live, but you will see it is still using the old file. What I need to do is go to any other image of the transition and then go back to this image. Then you will see we got a new transition here. Then you can see it here it look like more noisy. Uh, there's no more uh, sharp edges. It looks much better now, even without softening. The other thing I want to show you how to get it right is, you can see the sky. Uh, as soon as I move in, and then the whole sky is already in the got the second image. That's not what we want to do. That I shouldn't do that because uh, this part is totally white and uh, we can fix it. One thing I want to mention to you is the image here to make it more noisy. Sometimes it 
looks better if you reverse the image. It really depends on uh, whether you are blending to a darker or brighter image. So you have to play around and find out. Uh, now I'm going to fix the sky. So use the blend tool here. And this time I'm dragging the line through the image so it's much softer here. And I want to make the transition of the sky uh, starting later. So how can I do that? I'm going to the color curve. As you can see, basically it's change, it changing from bright to dark here. So if I lower this dot, then you can see it's getting darker, darker here. It's easy to see that mean uh, it the transition will run from this dot to this dot. The length is d uh, determine the time of the transition. If I drag this point down, that mean this line is getting shorter. The transition will start later and end it at the same point, so the time is shorter. So. One more thing is, if I want it to finish earlier, then I drag this point up. And if I want it to uh, run very slow at the beginning, and all of su a sudden stop somewhere, from this point to this point, the color changing very quickly, then slowly again. So you will see here that the color changing here is uh, very quickly and here is very smooth. Now I can show you how it looks like in Caden Live. You can see it's now the sky is changing softer and in the middle here stops somewhere very very slow and then continue going down. That's what we have done. Okay, let's recap. For the tree, we what we have done is we use the blend tool to do the transition here, and with a layer mask for the tree, as you can see it here, and using a another layer, multiply to the lower layer, and this black and white image allow us to create some pattern at the edge, so it looks much nicer. And the other thing is, you can change the color uh, to determine when the transition starts and stop. Uh, I like to use the color curve to change the, so because it's easy to see whether uh, the make it darker to start, make the start uh, later and finish earlier or changing the curve here and ch to change the timing. At the end I want to show you the a complete image of the transition. As you can see what we have done before is the tree uh, at the back and I put the two uh, layers in one layer group and you can see this is the layer with the transition uh, grayscale here and th this is the layer with the uh, multiply the pattern and here this part is the another tree in front of the this one so I have another layer group here and exactly the same with two layer one for the pattern one for the blending effect and I hope this video can bring you some ideas how to use the vibe transition in Caden Live to make some special effect to blend two photos. Uh, if you have any question, just post into the comment. I will try to help you. And I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.